Welcome back to my channel, YouTube viewers. Uh, I want to do a quick segment here about this uh, this corning ware, uh, these white dishes that I use in my refining processes. If you look back here, you'll see that it's marked corning ware. I buy these at uh, yard sales and thrift shops for just a couple bucks. This one was four dollars. And it'll come in handy for heating stuff or or uh, whatever case I might need uh, to uh, incorporate it into one of my refining processes. These things are tough. They'll take a lot of heat. They will not take a direct flame. And you can't put... Uh, I tried to dry off some cement silver one time. Had a bunch of wet cement silver in here. Had it on high and walked away and forgot about it, and it shattered. Uh, but uh, these things are excellent for using as catch containers to uh, do my reactions in. I put my glassware in them. You've seen me do that. And I have a whole bunch of it here. I buy it at uh, yard sales mostly for a couple bucks. And uh, I use it often, well, just about in every process that I do. And each one of these pieces will have coining wear written on the bottom of it, or some of it has it cast into it. That's how you can tell if you got the right stuff. If you use the wrong stuff and put it on heat, it'll explode on you. Here is a, uh, a nice big one that I bought. I think I got that at the thrift store. This is my tank that I plan on using for my uh, gold-plated scrap recovery video. It's a big container, and I'm going to make a great big uh, sulfuric acid stripping cell out of that. But this is a nice piece of uh, corning ware here. It's a big pan. Uh, I meant to get it out and incorporate it into uh, the refining processes that I've been using. There it is. See how it's cast into the uh, piece right there? And that's what you look for. If you get this, this stuff is bulletproof almost, man. It's uh, It'll take a lot of heat and uh, won't break on you when you put it on the heat. So that'll conclude the video. Thanks for watching.